Harry and Meghan are currently facing a crisis of identity, purpose, and finance. The couple's future endeavors have become uncertain, and their once burgeoning prospects have hit a significant obstacle. Who are they? What are they going to do in the future? I think they've exhausted their possibilities and they hit a brick wall. So, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is reportedly contemplating a return back to the UK, a move that goes against the wishes of his wife Meghan. The royal prince's desire to find his way back into the royal household comes in the wake of a series of professional failures, leading to speculations about his prospects of reconciliation and future success. However, and on the claims, royal biographer Tom Bauer said that the Waleses are unlikely to accept Harry's offer of a truce. I think Harry's offer will ultimately be rejected. I doubt William and Kate can forgive Harry. I don't think he can come back, he's caused so much damage to the family and the concern now is that if he does return, he could well damage it even further. I think Meghan would have been horrified by Harry's suggestion. She's not close to William and Kate, and in my opinion, London was just a stepping stone for her. I would imagine the last thing she'd want to do is return to England to live in a small, pokey flat in Kensington Palace. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have recently experienced a series of professional setbacks. They faced a loss in their deal with Spotify, and there are rumors of potential issues with collaborations with Netflix. These developments have raised questions about the couple's ability to establish successful careers outside of the royal family. While Prince Harry may be longing for a return to his homeland, it remains unclear how the royal family will respond to his desire to reconcile. The fallout from his decision to step away from royal duties and the controversial interviews he and Meghan gave in the past have strained relationships within the family. William and Kate have had their own share of concerns about Harry's actions. Forgiving the past and moving towards rebuilding familial bonds may prove to be a daunting task, even for the most resilient of relationships. Harry and Meghan's departure from the UK had once been seen as a pursuit of greater freedom and independence, however, a surprising turn of events has put their plans and ambitions in question, leaving them uncertain about their next move. While, the anniversary of the late Queen's death will come midway through the King's annual break in Scotland, where he will continue royal tradition by gathering the wider family together for their usual countryside walks, grouse shooting, fishing and picnics. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will not join the royal family at Balmoral for the anniversary of Queen Elizabeth II's death even though the couple will be in Europe. The monarch will mark the one-year anniversary since he ascended the throne in his mother's beloved Scottish Highlands, where she died on Septate last year. It was reported that the Duke and Duchess were snubbed from a family gathering to commemorate the occasion, but it is now understood that no such gathering will be taking place. Instead, members of the royal family will be going in and out of the monarch's Scottish estate during their summer holidays. However, the Sussexes will not visit the King in Balmoral, even though the couple will reportedly both be attending the Invictus Games in Germany, starting on Sept 9. It is understood that the King and Queen will be marking the anniversary of his mother's death privately in quiet reflection on the estate, without other family members present.